Good morning, good morning, Messi Gang Gang. What's poppin' everybody? It's Gold Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio. Grab a cup of tea. Let's jump straight into this mess. But first of all, if you're new here and you wanna join the Messi Gang kindly, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you know wherever we upload. We're shady, we're messy, we're a little bit nosy, honey. Let's jump straight into some mess. Let's get into some things. Well, today's topic, we're going to talk about Miss Hamisa Mubeto, of course, and Juma Beach Cole and some things that he had to say i'm just wondering why is it juma lokole likes to bully women honestly i'm just asking because i'm confused at this moment and i'm just wondering juma lokole have said so many hurtful things towards hamisa how come hamisa have never sued juma bitch Kole? like once and for all if i was a Mesa, instead of suing on pokey for poking on her business I would have gone for Juma Beach Cole instead or just look for something to tag him. Well, what happened is Amisa Mobeto, of course, reposted this DM over here of where I saw so many Tanzanians pretending like they were asking their boyfriends for money for salon. And uh, this DM, the boyfriend allegedly was saying, go and ask Mbappe. Mbappe is that uh, French football player. And Juma Bolokole, of course, took that, okay, with some laughing, sarcastic laughing emoji uh, with the caption, Mbona mapema sana jameni. Uh, with to my non Swahili listeners, that basically means why too soon. And down in the comment section, people were telling him things like, So you think Amisa Mobeto can't pull Mbappe? Or why are you so being so shady towards this woman? It's not the first time. It's something that you're used to. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Do you think that Juma Lokole is at this point bullying these women? Most especially Hamisa. Sometimes she go after Zari, but she's a little bit afraid of Zari because you all know that Zari will always respond. Okay, when Zari feel like this nigga is a you know suffocating me to the wall when she make a comeback you will end up crying hamisa is not the type to talk back and i feel like hamisa let a lot slide that when it's about when she is supposed to respond like the narrative is already out there and Juma Lokole is making it seems like, oh, Amisa is this one thirsty lady who is throwing herself after every superstar he thinks of. Because the other time we saw Amisa, you know, posting Michael B. Jordan and Amisa being seen in Rick Ross. So Juma Lokole was painting it like, oh, she's, she's always after them superstar. Yeah, she's allegedly supposed to be on a relationship some people are saying how come she's so pretty but she can't beg a man allegedly that is what uh, them streets are saying tell me what you think down in the comment section uh honestly juma lokole you are wrong at this let the woman be okay everybody has a crush i'm sure juma bitch kole you have a crush on diamond allegedly i'm just saying not even allegedly you definitely have a crush on diamond because you have a personal revenge with anybody that has ever dealt with the diamond platinums and it's not even alleged we've seen that we've seen it playing all across social media ever since but anyway that is just my opinion tell me what you think down in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe share like and comment follow me on ig Rizzi underscore radio follow me on tiktok and also on twitter tell me what you think about this topic do you all feel like a miss better should respond or she should just ignore it just like just like she has always been ignoring everything keep it classy stay messy see you on my next one Bye bye